told you, taking it through the end of the week, he's he's feeling better. But you know, we're just, we're just going to see where that goes. And then um, Frank Ragnow, uh, if you remember, we talked about it. He's he's seeing this specialist today, so he won't be at practice. And then you know, however that goes today after practice with the specialist, then we'll have more information probably tomorrow on that. Questions? Yeah. Yeah, Coach, thanks a lot. Just one thing about Frank Ragnow and replacing the center. Just how what, what does it add to the difficulty of that, the fact that nobody on your roster has had a competitive snap at, at center this year, either in a combined practice, preseason game, regular season game? Just just not just not in his ability alone, but just the familiarity of the position. Uh, well, we have a couple guys uh, that, that have practiced at that position. You know, we do a great job of moving those guys around during the week. Um, you know, obviously back in training camp. And that, so we, we have a good feel for who we, who we like to go in there. And um, I think, Mike, the biggest thing is more is the communication, you know, than just playing the position. There's a lot of communication that goes on from the center. And then as well as the quarterback position, you know, if there's a new quarterback in there, that's two guys that are communicating uh, that really have to be in lockstep. So uh, that's really been the focus this week. Okay, thank you. Justin? Hey, Bev, I, I just wanted to get a little bit of clarity on, on Stafford. Um, I know you said you didn't need to see him practice this week and it was going to the end of the week. It's a situation where you're going to have him, uh, you know, give him an opportunity to show what he can do before the game on Sunday before making that decision? Yeah, just this may this may or may not be a workout situation. You know, we're, I mean, obviously the conversation and what he's doing kind of on the side before we even get that far. Um, but if, you know, if we need to have a workout, then on, you know, Sunday morning, they will end up doing that as well. And then uh, I, I know we've talked in the past about how you like to study maybe some other schemes, some other coordinators during the off season. Um, I, I think we talked about it with Kansas City and Andy Reid. I'm just wondering, did you take a look at all of what Arthur Smith is is doing down in Tennessee? Just I, I know you like uh, a commitment to the run game. That's kind of uh, a heart of his philosophy. Have, have you looked at all what he's he's doing down there? And if you have, what what do you like about what he does? Um, you know, probably to be honest with you, have not been able to look at as much as I would have liked, you know, I'm talking about in the off season, you know, but, um, the first thing that you, you know, you spoke about was just the commitment to the run. You know, I've seen also, they do a good, really good job with just some of the, the personnel and the packages that they use, you know, they, you know, they, they'll go in there with all three of their tight ends. They move them around. They can give you, you know, basically a one back type of set in that type of look. They can give you, you know, the, you know, the tight and condensed thing with running it. So the, doing a nice job of kind of keeping you off balance with personnel and, uh, you know, and play selection. One more really quickly on Smith. Um, he doesn't follow, I guess, a typical coaching tree. Uh, he's been in Tennessee pretty much his entire career. Um, do you, do you see any schematic roots there or is there um, a little bit of, of everything and what, what he likes to do? Uh, I, you know, I don't know if I can trace it back to anything, to be honest with you. So, um, nothing jumps in my mind right now. Thanks, Beth. Yeah. Tim? Hey, Beth, thanks for taking the time. Hey, I wanted to ask you about uh, Muhammad Sanu and just kind of what he's brought to the offense. Obviously, he had the touchdown in Houston. He said an explosive catch in each of the last two games. Just how he's come along and, and what he's brought to the offense. Yeah, uh, you know, glad you asked that. You know, really impressed with, with Muhammad. I mean, he's obviously one he's a veteran player so he's been in a lot of a lot of game situations he's done a lot of things you know particularly in Atlanta Cincinnati you know throwing the ball I mean he's got all kinds of stuff in, in his game um he's but the, the thing I think that probably you know you wouldn't notice as well is just his savviness in terms of playing the game like he has a great understanding of the game he has a great feel you know there's you know, there's, there's different kinds of guys that we talk about when we're, you know, when we put a picture up there, like what the play will look like, you know, there's guys that are line runners then there's guys that, you know, have, have the ability to interpret that line. And he's, he's one of those, you know, that just has a really good feel, um, very friendly for the quarterback with the communication with, you know, with the body language and that kind of thing, you kind of know exactly what he's going to do because he does the right thing. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's really a, a good thing to have when you have a guy that comes in as late as he did just to be able to jump in and kind of a seamless transition with his experience and then with his feel. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Hey, Bev, how are you? Sorry, I'm in the middle of pulling over on the side of the road. Uh, two things. One, with Ragnar, I know I asked you yesterday about safety with him. What does the specialist really need to tell you to make this even somewhat plausible? Well, I mean, obviously he's, he, he's got to tell us that he's okay to play. I mean, he's the, he's the specialist. He knows what he's looking at. 
Uh, and, and, you know, the communication from him will be able to tell us, is it, is it safe for him to play? Is it, you know, he's totally clear? All those type of things is what we're looking for. And with Stafford, like I know Justin asked about, you know, how far it could go down. Do you literally, do you bring him on the trip anyway type of situation? Or is there a chance you would rule him out today? He is going on the trip. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Two more, Dave. One more thing on, on Stafford, Darrell. Uh, when you say he's doing better, can you help quantify that? How much better? What's what's he able to do now that he wasn't? You know, breathing well, he's well. Breathing, breathing really well. You know, Dave, he's, he's, uh, he's yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's better. You know, he's, move, he's moving better. He's feeling better. Um, you know, how far that's going to be, you know, we'll, ha we'll have to see in terms of, like, like I said, like, you really can't judge this uh, because the guy is as tough as nails and he may come on Sunday. You know, I've, I've had it before. I mean, you know, Favre was out like 10 straight weeks. He was going to be out again. And he walks in the day of the game, says, I'm going. Um, and, you know, goes guys like that, I mean, you, you give it to them and they, they go. And um, so I feel like he's in that same category. He could walk in Sunday and say, I don't care what anyone's saying, I'm going. So I'm going to let him go. You've certainly referenced that before. You know, right? you find some similarities in their toughness, their, their ability to, you know, play through pain and want to be out there too, I guess. Absolutely. You know, they, I mean, they, they love this game. Both those guys, they, they love the game. They love being out there with their teammates. They miss it when they're not able to be out there. You know, they feel like, uh, you know, you, you, it's one of those things where you literally feel like you're letting people down if you don't go out there. And, um, you know, so, uh, I, you know, I got to give it to the guy now, just to be clear. I mean, we're not going to let the guy go out there if he's in a state where he can't protect himself and he's, you know, it's, it's going to be a detriment to him. But a lot of these things are like, how can you manage the pain and can you play and function with it? Um, and I've, I've seen it like, you know, from far as broken thumb to his MCL to, you know, all those kind of things. And, you know, here, here goes Matthew. And I mean, you guys have seen it. You guys have covered this team way longer than I've been here. And you know what he's done, what he's played through. So I'm not putting it past him. Last thing I wanted to ask about was, was Kenny is, uh, I don't know, have you had to had that conversation about shutting him down yet? When does that have to come since we're close to the end of the season? He still is yeah, I, I think there's a conversation that's coming. Uh, you know, we're, we're really trying to get him back and, and, you know, he's, he's really wants to, he really wants to play. He wants to be in there. So, uh, but that's, that's a conversation that's, uh, you know, where, where are we at in the season that it, it might come to that? Thank you. All right, Kyle, last one. Hey, Bev. Uh, first, I, I think we're all kind of burying the lead here. Uh, O'Hara is rocking the uh, moose sweater today, I see. <laughs> it's good stuff, Mike. Um, uh, Bev, uh, we, we get asked a lot um, by fans whether Kenny's making a business decision with not playing. What, what's, what's your response to, um, to that concern? Uh, you know, I, I mean, I can be clear that he's, he's not, um, you know, the guy is competing. He's working hard. Uh, I, you know, the, the, the good thing for me is I'm in here every day. I get to see what he's doing. I get to see what he's, you know, what he's putting his body through to try to get back for us and, you know, for his teammates. And um, he, he's doing that. And, um, you know, that, that's really what I can say. I mean, I, I love his competitiveness. I love what he's trying to do. It's just, you know, he's, he's working with an injury that he's trying to work through. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you.